this lesson we're going to talk about decimals okay so when you see decimals these are numbers encoding decimal points or with decimal points okay in decimals we have the four operations so first we we're going to talk about addition okay so in adding decimals we need to align the decimal points okay so for example we're going to find the sum of 0 0.7012 and 0 0.1647 okay so first we need to align the decimal points so in that case okay so we have there so as you can observe the decimal point is aligned then after which we're going to add them like adding whole numbers okay so in that case we'll be having there the sum so that is 2 plus 7 is not 9, 1 plus 4 is 5, 0 plus 6 is 6, 7 plus 1 is 8, and then just copy D or bring down our decimal point, and then 0 plus 0, that would be 0. Okay? Next example, we'll be having here, find the sum of 15.32 and 6.4343. Okay? So again, we're going to align our decimal points. Okay, so as you can observe, this is vacant. Okay, so we need to put 0 there. Okay, so 15.32 is the same as 15.3200. Okay, so again, 15.32 is the same as 32, uh, 15.3200. Okay. And then in this case, we need to proceed with our, okay, so we're going to add them like, again, add, uh, addition of whole numbers. So we're going to have there, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 7 is 10, so we need to carry 1. So we have 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 6 would be 12. And again, carry 1, so we'll be having 1 plus 1 is 2, okay? That is for adding decimals. Okay, how about if we're going to subtract? Okay, so for example, we have to find or subtract 0 0.1647 from 0 0.1712. Okay, now we need again to align our decimal points. So that would be the case. Okay, then we're going to subtract them like whole, or subtracting whole numbers. Okay, so 0 minus 7, so that can't be since. 2 is lesser than R7 here, so that would be, again, we're going to borrow 1 from the number beside 2, so that would become, 2 become 12, okay? And then we're going to change 1 to 0 since we borrow 1 from here, so that would become 0. 1 minus 1, that would become 0, okay? So what is 12 minus 7? So that would become 5, okay? Next, 0 minus 4. Again, 0 is lesser than R4, so we need to borrow again 1 from 0 here. Okay? So that would become 10. And this one, 0 would become 9. Automatically, we're going to borrow 1 from 7 since 0 is already in 0, so we need to borrow. 1 from 7, so this would become 10. And since we borrowed 1 from this number, so 10 minus 1, that would become 9. Okay? So what is 7? Uh, okay, so 7 be will become 6, since we borrowed 1 there. Okay? So 10 minus 4, that would become 6. And 9 minus 3, that would become 3. And 6 minus 1, that would become 5. And then again, copy our decimal point and then 0 minus 0 is 0. Okay, next. Okay, so another example. So we're going to subtract uh, 6.4343 from 17.32. Okay, so in that case, we need to align our decimal point and subtract them like whole numbers. In this case, again, there are 32 is missing with two decimal places, so we need to add 0 for us to 
have an equal decimal places, okay? Or decimal points. So in this case, we're going to subtract the, them like whole numbers. So what is 0 minus 3? Okay, observe again 0 is lesser than 3 here. So we need to borrow 1 from the number besides it, which is 0. So that will become 10, okay? So since we borrowed 1 from here, so we're going to make that as 9. So again, why 9? So in this case, we automatically borrow 1 from 2 to make, the, uh, to make this 10. And since we borrowed 1 from 10, that would become 9. Okay? And 2 here would become 1. Okay? So what is 10 minus 3? 10 minus 3 would become 7. 9 minus 2 would become 7. And 1 minus 3 again, 1 is lesser than 3, so we need to borrow 1 from 3. So that would become 11, and 3 will become 2. Okay? So what is 11 minus 3? So that would become 8. Okay? Again, if we're going to subtract 2 minus 7, okay, so again, 2 is lesser than 7, so we need to borrow 1 from 7 here. So the number besides 3. So we're going to uh, we need 2. Okay? So 2 here would become 12, and 7 would become 6. Okay? So that is 12 minus 7, so that would become 5. And then bring down our the, uh, decimal point. And what is 6 minus 6? So that will become 0. And then bring down 1. Okay, so the answer would be 10.5877. Okay? So that's for addi addition and subtraction of decimals. So that's all. Thank you and God bless. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe.